Now, this is the sort of tech stuff I can talk about. Um, I hope so. I think so. Um, I think that Virgin Galactic, our spaceship company, um, will initially be sending people into space. Um, and, you know, we're not that many months away from that happening. Um, but our engineers are all very keen to see if they can't create a transcontinental travel using similar technology um, that send people, you know, sort of London to Australia in a, f you know, a fraction of the time that, um, that it currently takes to go there, maybe, you know, two and a half hours, two hours, um, depending on how much time it takes to get through the airport, etc. <laughs> um, so, um, you know, so I hope in our, in, well, definitely in your lifetime, maybe I hope in my lifetime, we can, we can board a Virgin Intercontinental plane uh, or rocket plane uh, and, um, you know, travel very fast around the world. Um, but, you know, our first challenge is obviously to, uh, to be able to get people into space that have, um, and experience space, space travel for a fraction of the price that it's cost to date. Um, but um, after that, um, you know, we'd love, to, we'd love to do intercontinental travel. And, you know, it's very sad to think that, you know, that it's about one of the few technologies that's just disappeared, it's gone backwards, mm. was when, when Concorde was scrapped um, and their wings cut off and it was, you know, effectively destroyed. Um, you know, you can't even see it in the sky at the Olympics or something mm. like that. Um, uh, so, um, uh, you know, so I, I, think, I think it is possible it will happen. So what do you think of the future of travel? Do you think so space travel and supersonic travel, is that the way we're going to be travelling in the future? I think so. I mean, you know, I mean, when I, when I talk about intercontinental travel, it is possible that we'll, you'll actually pop into space on the way to Australia and pop back down again. So you can become an astronaut on the way to your holiday in Australia.